Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in this uh, video I will show you some uh, different uh, covers you can make for your mini albums and journals. So um, I've already filmed it all, so I will show you here in the beginning uh, of the video uh, what uh, I will show you how to make. So this is uh, some basic uh, covers, uh, just to give you some ideas if you are new to scrapbooking or... yeah. So here is a regular uh, cover, and this I made uh, pretty large, so this you can uh, make any size you like to. And uh, you can also uh, make a cover for your mini album with a cereal box. So I uh, just cut off the sides, and here I use some electric tape, but you can use some regular tape just to secure uh, the ends here, or the folding lines. And I will also show you how you can make this. Uh, it's made with a whole. Uh, here you can use uh, regular paper, or here I used uh, craft uh, text to uh, make uh, this cover. So I'm going to use this for a journal, I think. So and um, uh, here I used this glue here, but uh, this uh, I think it's not uh, good enough. Use uh, some uh, liquid glue. Uh, especially in the outside because it will loosen a bit here so on paper it works uh, fine but uh, you need something stronger here so I tried to go um, a bit uh, under here lifted it up with uh, this uh, scotch uh, quick dry glue so I think that will work but uh, just uh, try if you are using this uh, craft text so you can see maybe uh, collapse a bit on the top here so I need to go with some liquid glue inside here. So, and uh, then I will also tell a bit uh, how you can just uh, cover a uh, uh, journal. Made your book and uh, want it just to be a soft uh, binding, so you can use uh, some craft or a felt or anything you like. And uh, then I also show how you can uh, make some uh, uh, with uh, some uh, binding rings if you don't like to make the spine at all. So I'll uh, show you a bit quick here. So uh, I don't show all when I put it all inside here because the video will be so long. But here it's uh, fun to uh, to use up your uh, yeah leftovers. I save uh, things when I get packet chicken and, uh, and so yeah. So it's a bit uh, fun to do. So just flipping fast through here. So and also this can be open like so. And yeah, some coffee filter and yeah. And a little doily on the end here. And also if um, uh, you don't want to make a hard uh, spine on uh, the back side here, you can also use some felt or craft X or anything to have it as a round spine like so. So then I will start the tutorial. So we will start with uh, making a regular um, uh, cover for a mini album. And uh, uh, the way you um, measure this, if your album is about 8x8, eight eight, then you cut it at 8.5 and, and by 8.5 or uh, just a half inch or so on the outside, but that uh, depends a bit on tags and so you have inside. But uh, just cut uh, the cover a bit larger than your album. So then you need uh, two pieces that are the same cut and you need one for the spine. And this also depends a bit on how wide your album is. Here I have a three and a half inch, so this is for a large uh, album. So, but maybe you just need uh, one and a half or two, and then you just uh, cut it to size and uh, the same height as here. So here I have eight and a half, I think, by nine maybe. Let's see, nine by eight and a half, yes. So then we will uh, start gluing uh, these together like so. And here I will use a TVEC envelope, and this I got in the office uh, supply store here in Norway. And I cut it at uh, uh, almost one and a half uh, inch uh, strips and ran it through my uh, Exeron Great Sticker Maker. So this is a really good glue, but uh, if you don't have this, you can maybe try um, 
try it on some cardstock and uh, the glue you have. So I also know that uh, I've tried a bit with uh, Multimat, so that also works great. So just uh, try what you have. And um, you can also use some other materials here if you have some fabric or anything strong, duct tape, or you can also use uh, paper. So, uh, but uh, this can tear. So I'm not sure you can see it here, but I glued on some uh, some um, tape along here. And you also need to have a tape over this way if your tape does tear, because now it will tear this way. But on this side here, I've um, taken one strip of uh, tape over, so then this won't uh, tear so easy. But to try out your tape, some of the tapes will uh, tear. So yeah, but here I've already done this uh, finished uh, through my Exeron sticker maker. So then we can start gluing them together. So I just cut them into strips. So then we can maybe start with the middle part here. And glue this on like so. And then we can lay this first over. So about. And we do the same for the other side here on the spine. Just take this on the other side here. So let's see, I cut my strips a bit too short, but they are almost as long as I need. So and we lay this down. And some like to have it a bit of a room a gap between here, but I like to go all the way in. So so then we need to have so this will be then the inside. So then we will uh, uh, take it up like so, but first I like to uh, just press this really good down. So you can use a score tool here or anything. So take it over. So now I know I'm, it's uh, well secured here. So then we can take it on the outside. So one more strip here. So I use four strips for this. So then I place this over here. One more strip and have this in an angle like so. So because if we glue this straight off on now it won't open like so. So then I yeah, just work this a bit over. So and then I will take my nail in between here where they meet up. So here you can use the score tool if you like or yeah. shipboard so <laughs> it's a bit more difficult it's more easy if you have a thicker shipboard so, so then lay this down and take this over so I'll give you a close up here so maybe you can see it folds nice together like so so we do the same for the other side here base of your album and um, if you <laughs> have a longer strip I usually take the strips a bit uh, longer and cut it off after see if I can find the scissor here so here it was a bit on the outside so then you just snip off the rest and um, if you like you can also uh, glue on uh, more strips here the same way as we did on the side here so this is a bit larger than the spine I think one of them I cut larger, this one, so that you can glue on here and then you can have it folding up like so, try to hold it here and glue on one more 
and have it on the top and have the closure here if you like to. So then you just continue gluing these on. So this you take as wide as you like the one who goes on the top. So it's uh, here a bit wider than the middle here, maybe one eighth of an inch. So it depends a bit how thick your shipboard is. So this was the regular one and I can maybe show you real quick here if you have a cereal box like this. You can also use that and then you cut off uh, the sides here. So I will just cut them off here so, and then I will be back. So now I cut off uh, the top and bottom part here and you can keep this if you like a closure to go over and just add uh, one more uh, shipboard here or you can fold it in and uh, use it as a pocket uh, on the inside. Uh, I think I will just uh, cut this off because of <laughs> it wasn't nice on the top here. And uh, here it can te tear when you use it a lot. So here I've taken some electric uh, tape. So here you also can use a regular tape or duct tape or anything you like. So I can maybe show you. So I take that in the score lines here or the folding lines. So just go around. have a cover for a mini album and uh, yeah then I can maybe show you um, uh, if you like to have a spine that is a bit um, soft and can uh, bend around and I've uh, cut out uh, two uh, shipboard uh, pieces here and I marked uh, on the side here uh, at one inch on both of them so um, and here I have some craft uh, text, uh, and I showed this in a video and in a whole video. This is really strong and good material to work with. So I've uh, embossed it and uh, taken some ink over. And this I cut at uh, five at the width here. So then we will have three inch left for uh, the inside album. So then we can glue this on the side, and I will just use my ATG. Um, tape glider here but uh, I think it's better to um, use some strong glue here but for the sake of the video it takes uh, long to glue so I will just use this and if I didn't say I um, measured in here one inch in here with my ruler just to have a mark so I know where to glue so. and here again you make these covers as uh, large as uh, your album is, or a bit uh, larger than the pages. So, go here. So, we'll glue this better on later. So, it's also good to take your pattern paper on first here and glue this over after. So, just lining it up here. So, and then you have an album. You can also take one more inside here if you like to. Or you can use your spine here. I will talk a bit more of um, the hinges and binding and so inside in the next video. Where I show the different ways you can uh, attach hinges and so to albums and uh, to your pages. So now this is uh, soft on the side here. So that's another idea. So then we can make uh, one more, and uh, yeah, here uh, you can see the craft text, I will use uh, that here. But here you also can use regular uh, paper if you like to, here I cut out some shipboard and line them up. But if you're using regular uh, paper it can tear in between, so then I like to take a tape strip in the middle. I just take a pencil mark here and take a tape strip in between here and here. So but we are going to try out the craft uh, text here. I haven't used this, I just uh, got it in, so I'm a bit curious myself how to use it. 
So this I cut a bit uh, larger in the width than uh, the, long the length of uh, these and I marked a half inch on two sides just to have some guiding lines. So we can take uh, this down. And here you go, about one eighth of an inch. You can glue uh, two, three. It depends a bit how thick your shipboard is in between. And take um, and place this on the inside like so. So, but about one eighth of an inch or a bit more. So, okay, this on here. better with uh, too much of a gap here than too little. So. And uh, this material is also a bit thicker than paper, so uh, it's good to give it a bit of a room. save a bit, you can see here, uh, go a bit in from here. So again it uh, depends on how thick your shipboard is, so maybe I could have gone a bit longer in, we can see here when I fold it, yeah I can cut off a bit more. So you can also measure with your shipboard how thick it is. So just put your shipboard on the side here, uh, if I have a piece here, if this was a shipboard put it on the side and then you can measure and draw a line. So it's better to cut off too little and then you can cut off more if you need to. So. Here about. And if I'm using paper I usually take a wet coat over here just to make sure the paper doesn't uh, tear. But uh, this is a strong material so I think it will hold. So then we can try to work this up a bit. All the way around. showing you what I like to use. So then pinch in the corners a bit here with my nails. And you can use your uh, tool also, but I find it more easy with using my nails. So, so then we can glue this on.
let's see how this uh, works. Yeah, it works fine. So I also want a piece on the inside and here you can take pattern paper and again take glue on the back on the pattern paper if you are using that or tape. So here I cut out the paper so I want to measure if this will fit on here. So I need to cut it off a bit. So just to measure how wide your paper is here. So I'll just find a pencil here. mark on both sides here and we'll cut it off. So then we can glue this on here. So here I will take a good amount of glue. I think I will go take one on each uh, side here. have a score tool. So on the other side. So a bit a bit up here. So so then you have uh, your cover for this one. So a bit bulky in the middle here, so you have to work a bit with it. So here you can put in any uh, kind of uh, binding you like. You can also use this is from the Tim Holtz if you like to have a little journal or anything. So, but again, I will show a bit more uh, different uh, binding and hinges inside here in the next video. So I will link to that below. So then we can uh, make one more, maybe one for uh, more uh, journal. So here I've cut out the two covers again that is, uh, are the same. So again here you measure how large you want it and uh, depends on what you want to have inside here. So um, here I will use some uh, binder rings but you can use uh, twine here to put it together or you can use some ball chain or anything you like or you can use a ribbon and tie a bow and yeah it's a lot of fun things you can do here so um, here I want some hole on the side so I will make myself a template and here I just cut out the strip of uh, support that's the same length as this one and here I measured in a half inch on this side so this will be for the cover holes and then I measured in um, 3 8 of an inch here um, for the inside the pages. But you can make them the same at a half inch if you like to. So then I measured, um, I put my ruler in, uh, maybe have some white paper under here so it shows uh, better up. I can take this uh, TV envelope. So, so then. Here I have three quarter of an inch and it's eight and a half long, so then I put it at uh, four and a quarter, four and a half, no, this is long, nine inch long. So then I put uh, the middle at uh, uh, zero and four and a half on each side, so I put a mark here at uh, um, uh, six inch mark here, and then one and three quarter, and then I go up one and three quarter here again. So, but here you can make as many holes you like. And then I did the same for the other side. Place my ruler here and uh, 
four and a half inch and take a mark here and one and three quarter and one and three quarter up here again. So, but uh, if you don't have this uh, ruler, you can measure with a regular a ruler. So, so then we can uh, punch out uh, these holes here. So, do that real fast. And uh, here I'm using a crocodile. The same for the other side. So, and then we can take um, use this template here over uh, these two. I will take both in the same time. So it's not so very thick shipboard I have here. So here are two layers. So place this over and use the half inch uh, mark. And then I will. Um, Use my template to go inside here and uh, punch the holes here. So then I've got the holes where I wanted them and uh, for the other side here I'm going to use for the inside uh, pages. So I will show you a bit here. Take this out of the way and uh, here I've saved a lot of uh, junk, different things. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun you can do with this, some envelopes and yeah, some coffee bags. So, yeah. So I can maybe show you I uh, save also um, envelopes when I uh, get some dies and so. So then I will place the other side with a 3 8 of an inch over. So if I want this to go in the middle I place it here about. Or maybe I want it all the way down or yeah. So I think I will have this uh, and I will take it on the other side so I have the opening up. And here again it's best to cover the pa uh, pages with uh, paper first, but I uh, will show you here, so um, take this all the way to the side, so then I decide where I want the holes to be, here about, and then you can punch these holes out. So when you're using this template you get them all the same. one and I can maybe show you on a smaller one. Maybe I want this uh, tag here to go out uh, this uh, side here. So and I want this uh, to go on the top here. So, here out, almost all the way to the top. And again I do the same. So and this can go over here. So and I will continue to do that with uh, all uh, these uh, things here. I have a plastic bag, a little mailing envelope and so. And that I will show uh, how it looks uh, bonded together in the beginning of the video. So, but I can maybe show you the rings here, how I'm thinking. So, and I can layer this on top of each other. So, take this uh, first here. So. And this I want to go on the top and uh, yeah, one more ring and show you. So, and here you can layer as many as you like. So, and this I want to go a bit longer and down maybe. The envelope, so then I will line up this here on the back with this and take the first hole here. So that I will continue doing with the uh, all the bags and uh, this was a bit hard these uh, rings here so yeah so then I will uh, take rings here as well and layer them with uh, the other things here and show you 
I'm uh, jumping back into the video here again because uh, I thought uh, I'd share with you, I uh, thought I'd show this in the next video, but we need it here. So uh, if you have something that opens up like so, then you need, uh, then you can't punch, uh, punch hole or you can and score it, but it's better to take a, a spine on here or, uh, yeah. So uh, we'll show you a bit how you do that. So here I've uh, cut out a two and a half inch and folded it and scored it in half. And um, then we can uh, make some holes here. And I'm going to use uh, this one here and it has a flap here and I don't want to close that up with the uh, holes here. So then we will make this. And uh, again uh, this way you can maybe measure how long we want it first. So here about. So then we can punch some holes in this one. So line it up in the middle about here. So. And uh, yeah. So I will punch some holes now. I, I need to have it close up, but I can maybe show you a bit here. Close up if it shows up how it looks inside the template. So then I will do it off camera so I can see what I am doing. So, and then we um, close this up with some glue. So, and then I take some glue on here as well. And place this over where I want it. Here, see, I had the hole a bit too long in. So, we'll see how that fits here. Need to punch one more time. So if you mess it up like I did, just punch one more time. So like so. So I think uh, when it's a junk and journal, it doesn't matter. But now you can see this will open like so. So I can also maybe show you I started to put uh, these different uh, things inside. So I just pulled uh, all uh, the rings in first and then I start uh, adding. So I want this to go on the bottom I think or maybe... Yeah, I need to have it here I think. So then I will take this off because I don't want two on the same layer. So then I can take this in the middle here. So, and also I forgot to say uh, here you can use some uh, eyelets if you like to, but uh, then it's a bit harder with uh, these rings. Or you can make some eyelets yourself. So here I'm using crocodile again, just uh, punching a hole. And I have a half inch uh, circle punch here. You can use a star or a heart or anything and place it over. Like so. So then you get yourself an eyelet, so you can glue that on top here. So then I can maybe show you one more for a journal. So <clears throat> here I will use uh, the craft uh, text again. And this is uh, white and I sprayed it with uh, some uh, gold uh, from uh, Prima, I think it was. <laughs> So uh, and I'm working on a journal here and I will show you a bit more of the binding here in the next video. But uh, I plan to uh, just glue this over like so and use it as a journal. So this is a great cover. So if you have an album or so, you just want to bind it around, you can use this material. You can also use felt or fabric or anything you like. So I will maybe make a pocket inside and fold this in or just cut them off and maybe do like so. I'm not sure yet. So we'll see when it's uh, finished. So I hope uh, this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful and uh, that you maybe can use uh, some of these ideas. So uh, yeah. So again... Uh, have fun creating everyone and if you have any questions uh, please look in the description box below just click show more and then you will find uh, uh, the link to my blog where I answer questions 
and you will also uh, find all the links uh, to the rest of the tutorials I'm going to make as tags and boxes and uh, binding and so so I'll put them uh, in there as soon as they are uploaded so take care everyone and have fun creating bye bye